ABL has demonstrated all of the key technologies needed to bring a new generation of weaponry to warfighters. High power weapon systems testing is the next step. All airframe modifications are complete and the plane has logged over 500 flight hours of operational testing involving over 100 sorties. This is by far the fastest airplane that two people can hop into, get the checklist done and crank up and ready to go as long as the weapon system is ready. Once it's airborne, both pilots can fly the airplane, they can taxi it, they can both take off, either pilot can do everything 100% the way the other pilot can, and the pilot flying, the pilot not flying just does what he doesn't do. They dovetail beautifully. We go up into what's known as the upper left hand of the envelope. We're very high and very slow, and it is a very stable, very responsible airplane, even at that portion of the envelope. ABL's modified hangar and test facility provides support for high power laser testing and for potential early capability deployments. This world-class facility at Edwards Air Force Base is where the high-power coil laser is being integrated on board the aircraft, the final step in assembling the weapon system. The high-energy laser's power and runtime have been demonstrated and components have been fully refurbished. Laser integration into the aircraft will be followed by activation and high-power lasing tests on the ground and in flight, leading to the shoot-down of a threat ballistic missile in 2009. This requires focusing the lethal beam at extended ranges precisely on target on a very short timeline. It is here that a speed of light directed energy weapon provides unique advantages, countering the missile threat during its vulnerable boost phase and providing track information and cueing to other elements. ABL is a force multiplier for the entire ballistic missile defense system. In 2007, ABL successfully demonstrated one of its most challenging tasks, illuminating, tracking, and propagating an atmospherically compensated beam against a distant target. For this test, a simulated missile, along with an exhaust plume emulator, was inscribed on the fuselage of an aircraft, free-flying at a distance from ABL that is typical of the engagement range for a missile threat. The system demonstrated that it could illuminate the target with a low power track illuminator laser, TIL. The return of the TIL beam off the target is then used to achieve a high precision track and the rapid designation of an aim point for the high power laser. Once precision track of the target is established, the beacon illuminator laser, or BIL, measures the wavefront distortion caused by the intervening atmosphere. Corrections are applied to the high power beam optics, which in an actual engagement would result in more than lethal energy deposited on the target. Repeated multiple times with a substitute low power laser at the same wavelength as the larger chemical laser, each engagement required only seconds. Had the high power laser been on board, a missile threat would have been stopped cold, suffering catastrophic damage. With the high power laser tested on the ground and the beam control and battle management systems tested in the air, ABL is now on a single high power integration path, culminating in a missile shootdown. It is a source of great pride for me, and it's a source of confidence that I have that we can actually do this job. Now all we have to do is get to the goal of that shoot down. And when that occurs, I guarantee you the support for this program will be unstoppable because you will have demonstrated a revolutionary capability in warfare that will change not only missile defense, but will change many other facets of how we fight and win wars. So when people ask me about the Airborne Laser Program, I tell them there's one, one bet I would never ever take. And that's a bet against your ability to meet a challenge and overcome it. ABL's key technologies have been demonstrated. Segment level risks have been retired and preparation for high power testing is underway. ABL's speed of light weapon system will transform the warfighter's job of protecting our homeland, friends and allies.